interwebs. It's about 11 o'clock. I've been up since, I don't know, about 6.45, dressed and all that stuff, having a productive day so far. It's a little noisy out here, I'm sorry. They're um, harvesting in several of the neighboring fields, and they're doing work on my house, so. And the kids are playing in the yard, so any number of sounds. Not to mention there's like annoying nighttime buggy sounds during the day, right now. Um, because, in large part because all of the bugs are being displaced from their fields, so now they're in my yard. Because here they won't get eaten by a tractor. Um, so what have I done today? I've done a bunch. I worked just a scoonch on my nephew's afghan. I did that after I got up and dressed, and then I did my um, affirmations in my journal, and that was good. And then I worked on, I think I've done one, two, I think I've done three um, rounds around the blanket, but it may have only been two. And then I got up and got the kids up, kids dressed, made oatmeal for breakfast, that was good. And then I was sitting down, we read some more Hoot and kind of hung out as a family for a little bit. And then they all got sunscreen and came outside. Steve is harvesting stuff in the garden today. He brought me in two things of green beans. So I'm going to sit here on the porch and, you know, top and tail them so that I can um, can them or freeze them or something so that we can have them this winter. And while they were all out here, I decided I should do something productive, so I cleaned the bathroom, scrubbed the tub, and the walls of the tubs, and the toilet, and the mirror, and all the things. So, I have done my productive thing for the day. I also straightened up the kitchen again, and that stuff. So, now I don't have to feel guilty once I do these green beans. I think I can kind of do whatever I want for the rest of the day. We have a little more school to do, but that'll happen. Um, yeah, and I've also been, Steve and I were chatting this morning, I came across things talking about Vlogtober, which is um, another kind of like vlogist, which is what got me daily vlogging and was enjoyable. Vlogtober is another um, basically push to do a month of vlogging or something of that nature. Well, since I'm already daily vlogging, I kind of was thinking either if there's something in particular I want to include every day in my vlogs during Vlogtober, or if I want to do something different, like 31 days of something. I don't know. So I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I would do something like cooking related, like do a cooking video every day. But I don't know how much people like my cooking videos, because I understand that a lot of what I make is not like easily replicatable. It's not like I go, I use this brand of whatever, because a bunch of the stuff that I use, I've put up myself. But I'm also not like homesteady enough, I don't feel, to put out of like videos and claim that they're like homestead did. Um, I don't know. It's a problem I have in a lot of areas of my life. I'm just not enough of either way. Like I'm not crunchy enough to do certain things and I'm not conservative enough to do others and I don't know. I just don't really fit in any category and that is annoying. There's got to be other people that also don't fit in categories, right? So maybe they would want to watch my videos. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm not even trying to figure out what to make that I think people will necessarily watch, though people watching is nice. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what would benefit me personally. Like I figured out that talking to the camera like this is personally beneficial to me. Thus daily vlogging is worth doing. Um, so what would be the right like kick in the pants I need to get something accomplished that I'm not accomplishing? Um, so yeah, trying to figure that out, and it would help if it was something that was, you know, interesting to people. Um, theoretically, it would mean more people were watching my channel, which would be good, because, um, you know, I like being small, but I'm, like, super duper small, <laughs> and I have been and probably will continue to be forever, but that is that. So, it's about, I don't know, like 1020-ish. And my cat is getting on my afghan. It's laying out and trying to ruin it. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, I worked on my afghan today. Um, I mean, I did other things too. Steve brought me a whole bunch of produce. We have a, a giant, giant chumbo pink banana squash sitting on our couch right now that looks like a small child. It is 
almost at least two thirds as tall as our almost three year old. So yeah, it's a big squash. I will show it to you tomorrow along with the rest of the produce he brought me. He brought me cucumbers and peppers and um, green beans. And I put up green beans today. I put up seven quarts are done canning and I have two and a half quarts that are cleaned and ready in the fridge. But um, I didn't have enough time to process them all because the people were here working on the house today. And they were in the kitchen or blocking my way in the kitchen and they were doing insulation stuff. So I uh, didn't want to have all of that going and stuff while they were in there. Um, the annoying lady was with them again today and she saw me working on my afghan when she left. She's like, you were doing another project the other day and now you're doing something else. And I was like, yeah. And she... Uh, made one of those like annoying comments about like you work on so many things I just don't have that time in my life like as though you know whatever she is doing is somehow more valuable than what I am doing uh, people tend to make comments about what I do or how much I do or whatever and I don't know that they necessarily mean them to sound mean but that is how I frequently interpret them as though they think that However, I choose to spend my time is not valuable. Um, and I think that they don't necessarily see all of the things that I do in a day. Um, because I don't, like, talk about all the things I do in a day. If people knew how many times I helped people put their underwear on the right direction, that is not very interesting. Or at least I don't think it is. But it takes up hours of my day. Or I would guess that it's at least, like, an hour of my day that I spend talking to people about their bathrooming needs and walking them through the process or helping them turn their pants around or going, do you need to go? Because that is what parents do. Um, but that is not interesting to talk about. And the things that I find exciting are the more enjoyable activities I do of that. Like the crocheting and the canning and the crafting in general and the making of food and all that stuff. That is more interesting to me. But I frequently feel that it is um, not interesting to other people or they, like I said, don't find it valuable. And so they make little smart aleck comments about the amount of those things that I do. Um, I don't know. I don't think they mean it to be hurtful, but it can be. But anyways, Here's what I got done on my afghan today. I am, boop, boop, boop. I have one more side of my second round of brown, and then I'm gonna have one more round of brown, and then I'm on to black. Sorry the lighting is so bad. It was really pretty this afternoon. Um, so I will try and take a better shot in the light tomorrow, because yeah, the colors just don't show up. But. It's turning out nice, and I'm happy with it, and I think there's a good chance that I'll finish it tomorrow. At least I'll be through the one round of colors, and then I have to decide what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know. It's already getting to be kind of substantial-ish. I have to decide if I want to be like a lap blanket or a bed size blanket or what. Um, my nephew's really tall, so it might need to be bigger just because, you know, I'd like it to be usable. <laughs> but... I'm going to go and regulate bedtime because my son is still awake. And uh, then I will get this uploaded and try and get to bed at a decent hour and try to wake up at a decent hour again tomorrow. And I will talk to you then. Nighty night. Bye.